Two things before we get into today's video. Step one, hit that subscribe button. And step two, just follow step number one. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Gaz here. Welcome back to a brand new video. If you have been living under a rock recently, you probably didn't know that Microsoft acquired Activision, like literally the whole company. They bought the whole thing, but that doesn't actually come into play until 2023. So just hold on to your trousers so far because it's not over just yet for PlayStation. So you probably want to know what's going to be happening once Microsoft and Xbox fully take over Activision and what's going to be happening with Call of Duty and many other games. First things first, I can still see this thing happening on the PlayStation. It won't go away on the PlayStation unless Xbox do that one thing they said they wasn't going to do and that was take away gamers freedom. They don't want to keep it this big console war but it's more of a a content war than it is a console war now. What does PlayStation have? They have a few big studios. What does Xbox have? The, well, the studios are endless. There's numerous amount of studios and now obviously they've just picked up Activision and all of their studios were inside of Activision. It's absolutely huge. So obviously the first thing you're probably thinking is, should I change over from PlayStation to Xbox or PC to Xbox? Well, if you're PC to Xbox, there's no point stay where you are stay on pc or if you have an xbox don't go to playstation don't go to pc stay on your xbox and if you have a playstation the most logical thing to do if you're an activision fan is obviously go to xbox but be realistic here if you're going to be changing anywhere you want to be going to the big boy which is pc so call of duty you all want to know what's going to be happening with call of duty as it stands, PlayStation is under a contract with Activision, and that's to have like the exclusivity of the double XPs and uh, content early and maybe some free content bundles for the PlayStation Store. So the right thing to do here is obviously honour what they have got with the contracts already, but Activision are not actually with Xbox just yet until 2023, so they could actually do a big swoop here and PlayStation come in and go to Activision directly and say, Okay, we've got a year to get this thing sorted. Let's chuck in another contract and hopefully Xbox will honor this contract so we will never lose Call of Duty. That will be one big power play that PlayStation could do, but obviously the power play move has been made by Xbox. So unfortunately, it is going to be an Xbox only thing if you're a PlayStation player. You're gonna be thinking you're playing a rival's game here, but in reality, take away the consoles just enjoy the games and also hit that subscribe button if you're new around here.